I mean, I broke one. The mouse worked fine, so... I don't know how important they are, but I would just snap them back on. Or pop them back on. I know you can't see what I'm doing, so I'll try to move this back in camera range. And I'll zoom in. It'll be clicking for a minute. You can kind of see it. See that little uh, metal nub right there? Hold on just a sec. Bottom screw holes that we have to fill in with our magic metal wrap. So Tab, tab, and tab. Metal thing, and see, you may want to glue this back down. Doesn't matter. And I don't care either. Now I'm just going to maybe bend it a little to keep it focused in there. If it does anything. Alright, so regardless, we have this now. Now the next difficult thing is... This is why you don't want to take it apart. Because this is really difficult to reinstall. It takes me a good 10 minutes to do this, so since I've done it about 4 times, maybe it won't take 10 minutes, but this is difficult. you got to slide this in, and then use your finger or something, and push that tab down. But see, when you actually slide this in, it's spot. And I'll do that sometime. Yeah, there we go. Nope, it came out. When you actually slide this in, you got to somehow secure this, so... It's a bit difficult, but I find the best idea is to slide it in. You see it slid in. So how are we going to close it? That's why I said use a paper clip. Paper clips fix everything sometimes. So we're going to use that paper clip and we are going to fold that down. Like I said, you've got to be able to do this. Or else the top sensor doesn't work and then there won't be any magic in the mouse and then it doesn't work well well this is a bit difficult to do but I'll come back when that's done okay so I finally got it in it took about three minutes to use that paper clip now you see those loops sort of have to zoom in with the camera. Those plastic loops there, there. Slide the thing in, those clips. Slide those in. And put them under. Now you've got it rocking. Half of it's in. Now push this back into those clips and snap the other part on. Oh, where's the mic on this? Hear that click, maybe? Yeah, that's because it's all reassembled now. So now is the easy part. We just have to pop it back in the aluminum. And we're good. So, popping it in the aluminum is pretty easy. I just put fingers here to line it up, and fingers there to line it up, and then it's lined up, and then God likes it, and everything's all good now. So, sometimes at least out a little got bent in gripping it so just uh align make sure the button or that light that light is at the top because uh, that's kind of important i think so just line it up this way and that way and once you do that just push around the perimeter which is here and here and uh yeah it should be straight if you did it correctly which I didn't, so I'll fix that and speed up the video. Okay, so, 
snap it on. All right, there we go. It's clicking. So now what's next is the bumpers. The bumpers, you just pop them in on each side. It does take a bit of force to snap those back in. It takes a little force to get them to pop out. <laughs> but uh, they only go in on one of the sides, so if you can't get it in on one side, pop it in on the other. And you should be able to snap it in, as you can see. I did that. So now we have one bumper. Attached. Now we've got to pop on the other bumper as well. So I'll go ahead and pop that on. Trying to do this. Difficult. Sometimes. There. It snapped on. So... Now we uh, did that, and uh, all should be well. Now it's just like you got it. And the bumper doesn't stay on, which is uh, unfortunate, so we'll snap it back on. I think it just fell apart. So I'll come back when I fix it. Alright guys, we're back. I got the mouse assembled, as you can see. Click. So, um, I noticed the battery indicator, they are a bit pushed in. That's why I said you glue them. Um, I will do that later, but I can't do it right now. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to, with my homemade little tin balls, put those in the battery slot. What's up guys, I'm back. Um, I had issues with the mouse powering on, so I, I cut that part out. And what I ended up doing is, I took it apart, and I had to sadly use paper, because I didn't have glue, to push those two battery things, so they'd connect. So, yeah, don't take it apart, and uh, you won't have a problem. So, let's see if it works. We're popping our batteries, so. Popping one battery, popping the other. Pop on. The switch. Okay, and then we'll put it on the ground. Alright, so we can see it's there, and we'll go to the computer that we have it paired with. Okay, it works. Can you see it like that? The bottom of the screen. Well, that is nice. To know. Wipe them out there. Uh, so it works. 